Although the War of 1812 was over, the British government was convinced the Americans would invade again and attack Kingston. Kingston was the British military and naval base on Lake Ontario, and the first major outpost above the St. Lawrence River. First, they built the Rideau Canal to provide a safe inland route for the movement of British troops and supplies. Next, they built Fort Henry, the citadel of Upper Canada, and now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Well, Fort Henry was actually the nucleus of the protection of Kingston Harbour. Everyone had the original belief that the fort was built backwards. The main battery was facing inland rather than out onto the open water, but uh, that's not true. The massive complex was designed to protect the entrance to the canal and the water and land approaches from the east to the naval dockyard and the Great Lakes system. It was believed that the Martello Towers around Kingston would protect the Kingston area better and uh, the fort was actually protecting itself and it was the main battery protecting the entrance to the Rideau Canal. Garrison attacking the fort could not completely surround it because there's not only a dry moat leading down to the water edge on, uh, on both sections of the fort, but the fort itself is completely surrounded also by a dry moat. So nobody could ever get near the fort without negotiating these deep, deep trenches. Every summer, the Fort Henry Guard and enthusiastic reenactors helped to tell the story of Fort Henry. Discipline was uh, a bit different because everything was dependent upon uh, somebody responding immediately to the task that they've been, that's been assigned to do. So what we look at now in terms of, uh, of drill where we see soldiers on parade grounds, it's more of a, a ritual that takes place with, uh, with a historical background. But during this period, actually, it was a matter of life and death. Soldiers parading in long lines was an attacking strategy on the battlefield. Failure to perform your duty could jeopardize the lives in your regiment. Discipline was critical. And if they didn't comply with the discipline that was uh, instructed by the officers and the non-commissioned officers... I think you're drunk! Uh, ...there were ramifications that could come into place. Smell it on your breath, gutter! Why do you feel you need to get drunk? It helps me relax, Sergeant. It helps you relax? Does this uniform not relax you enough? No, Sergeant. No! Absolutely disgusting! I'm only paying you one penny today! Hold well! All around! Shoulder! Arms! Uh, the wooden part is called the stock, uh, the barrel, obviously. And uh, the part that actually fires off is called the action, or the lock. So this is where we get the term lock, stock, and barrel. But life in the fort wasn't all drills and fighting. Some of the soldiers were allowed to bring their families. And they would have responsibilities and duties as well. The children would be schooled in the schoolroom here. England is on the map, yes, twice. To emphasize the superiority of our country over the rest of the world, to show that the sun never sets on the British Empire, I see elbows on the table. Bugles, drums and bagpipes were used to communicate the daily activities of the fort and battle instructions on the field to the English and Scottish regiments. And David, the Welsh goat and fort's mascot, commemorates the Royal Welsh Fusiliers who were stationed here in the 1840s. Uh, we have rooms set up as officers' quarters because of the extra space that we have here in the casemates, uh, we had one officer stationed per room. And then in contrast to that as well, we have barracks rooms set up for the men, 20, uh, between 11 and 20 men per room. We have the kitchens that are set up. There's a bakery here that's still in existence. Uh, so basically what you have here is a small village with a, a very military sort of reason for being.
The sunset ceremony is based on a ritual referred to as a tattoo, and that was something that took place every evening. Uh, it comes from the Dutch expression do den tapto, and it means to turn off the taps. And it was the symbol for publicans to, uh, to stop serving soldiers drinks. They knew that they had to be back in barracks, and it was the end of the evening. Fort Henry is created to, uh, in, a, in a period of tension between us and the United States. And it, it's become a really poor, important part of our history, first of all, to portray what life was like back then, but also it's, it stands as a monument to the, the political uh, situation as it was at that particular time. What's interesting is that as we've struck a much stronger bond with the United States, it serves now a purpose as a tourist attraction. Things, if they're preserved well enough and long enough, they take on a different guise entirely. For more information, visit our website on topoftheworld.net.